first lyric of that. Spring was never waiting for us, dear. It ran one step ahead while we followed us in advance. Give it up for Harmon Town, which is now in session, everybody! Let's bring out our game master. Although we don't play games anymore, but still he's our game master, Spencer Crittenden. The well shorn. You got a side pony going on right now. Oh, yeah, I need it. To live. <laughs> well, uh, you, you know what else we need, Spencer? What? We need a mayor. Let's bring out Dan Harmon, everybody. Yo, I got a microphone back, back on the stage. It's all the way back. A deeper mic for a deeper show. I fucked your mama in her big toe. Whoa. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, inside her big toe? Yeah. Yeah, well, let me explain. You're I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Your mama was a virgin. She wanted to stay that way, so I said, come out to my house the next day that I have off of work, and I'll do a little experiment that I've been wanting to do. I need you to sign this waiver, girl. I'm going to be the most famous orthopedist in the world. I'm going to fuck your toe. And you're going to get to stay a virgin. And I'm going to be a famous surgeon. We're going to be on the cover of People. <laughs> Wait, so you, your dick goes inside of her toe? Oh, yo, I've got a very small wiener. You're a... You're a beginner. Yeah. Yeah. When I was born... The doctor said, whoa, I think that's a girl. My mom said, he's gonna fuck a toe. This is the sexiest fucking rapper we've ever done. I'm a weird surgeon with a tiny penis that invites women to his house and puts a hole in their toe and then fucks it. Wait, wait. You, you, you put a hole inside the toe? I put a hole inside the toe. We've been over this. That, 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 that sounds more invasive than I I, I had imagine. them sign a waiver. And the whole point was the, the person wanted to fuck but didn't want to be a non-virgin. They wanted to retain their virginity. And so I had a plan that might have some affinity for people of the kind of persuasion that doesn't want to uh, lose the, 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 the hymen and, 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 the, and the props with the God above. I, I don't know. Like she was Catholic is what I'm saying. Uh, she wanted to maintain her maiden head. Can I, can I ask you the procedure where you make the hole in the toe? It's called the toe pussyotomy. And it's smooth and sexy. Welcome to Harmon Town, everybody. Yeah. We, we did it again. Yeah. We did well, it. if you haven't, if, if that wasn't worth coming out on a holiday weekend. <laughs> you, tonight's show is brought to you by Steve Levy, who, who forgot to cancel the show. I was told there was no show tonight. I was, I, you were told that by me. Right. I was told that by Common Sense. It's a, it's a national holiday. Men and women have fallen for our freedoms. And yet we have a, we, almost a full house right now. I, I know. Well, I guess it turns out to be a good night to do a show. That's, that's, that's the upshot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, since we're all here, we'll make it worth it. But, but you know, I think the fact that we are here is a crime. <laughs> and treasonous, really. These aren't times to be fucking around with the definition of what it means to be a proper American. You know, that's a razor thin uh, uh, high wire that we have to walk every day with a lot of nuance. You what, can't. What, what kind of American do you think you are? I mean, I, I don't mean to be glib, but like, like what? D define your Americanism. Like, what, what kind of patriot are you? Uh, uh, can you give me like some categories that exist already? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 are you a like cynical? Patriot? Uh, are, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a, you know you know you don't have to uh, you don't have to you don't have to try to think of things for me to or talk I, about. I, I guess the point is that the 
like being a patriot right now is complicated. Like, like oh yeah, no, it's, it's it's like like I was saying, you know, it's incredibly nuanced, incredibly subtle, paradoxical. I mean, it's just you need a surgeon's touch to. Uh, 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 I didn't want to even connect that dot, but I, I I didn't say anything. I didn't. Yeah. You, you're gonna make a hole in a person's toe and fuck it. Yeah, anyways. So yeah, well, we, you know, yeah, I was obviously being sarcastic. Right. Uh, you can you can you can literally be a semi-literate uh fucking uh, crazy He's a we have a madman on the throne. Did you see he had that he had those speech <laughs> notes? Hey guys. What's up? Uh, he had those speech notes that someone took a picture of and he, he wrote accomplishments. A instead of a, like instead of right. accomplishments like A C H and then no P like accomplishments. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of words to to misspell, but I feel like accomplishments not not high up on the list. If this were an ideal world, he would be allowed to be dyslexic, and we would That's be not dyslexia. Sorry, sorry. Continue. I think it is dyslexia. He doesn't know how to read or write because he like because when he looks at letters. Uh, and words and things, they're jumbled. And so unlike a lot of our friends who lear- who had that learning disability diagnosed for them in like third grade and like put the extra effort in to like re-unjumble the shit as it comes to their brain, he just did, he, he just was dishonest about it. He just was like, oh, I'm not going to go to school and then here, you do my homework. Whatever the fuck he did. I don't know. <laughs> like, like we got a lot of people in the world in a lot of, a lot of states of uh, literacy. There's a, literacy is a spectrum. It uh, is. There's a ton of people who are illiterate in America. What it's I'm like, saying is... It's a crazy figure. We can't say he's illiterate because he has read a teleprompter before. But we do know that he... We, I believe... I would, I would be comfortable diagnosing him as dyslexic. I believe the frustration that he experiences when he tries to read a prompter and that the, the, when he tries to, like... Yeah, say things and stay on book and stuff. And he's he's obviously gotten a lot more dopamine spikes from like going off book. Right. And that's why even though he's kind of dumb, he has that like Elon. Like he he feels like he's flying when he as long as he's not reading. Like 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 so so even though he's saying the dumbest shit, he's like, this is so much better than reading. Yeah, but you <laughs> like like um, I guess that's like me with math. Like if I was just like. Eight plus eight is ninety nine. Like I'd be excited too, because I'm like, don't make me think about it. Like I'm, I, I almost don't know it's sixteen. Like I'm gonna get yelled at. Uh, anyways, what I was gonna say is, in an ideal society, we would be, we would, you know, it would be great. You know, we've had presidents that are like holding themselves up at the podium because they got polio legs, and they're in the, in the midst of we need the strongest person in the world right now. We need to be so strong. It's like, ah, my polio legs, they hurt so much, I can't. And, 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 but then the photographers are like, don't take pictures of those polio legs. What are you doing? America needs, needs strength right now. And, uh, you know... <laughs> And and you know we had presidents and like 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 their wives are really w- running the country because they're like they're they, they're having insulin attacks or something in the caboose. I think that's the same guy. I can't remember. In the caboose. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't there like a train going around and there was like a president's wife who was like, he says he's proud and you guys are doing great and you need more canals and chuka chuka choo. And he was like in a in a in a in a, who's, in a whose wife is this? I don't know, I, I, one of the Eisenhowers. <laughs> I think there was only one Eisenhower. Uh, <laughs> it was like the third Roosevelt before the, the second Bush. Yeah, but th- th- there were four Eisenhowers. Uh, oh, no, no, four, four Roosevelts. Yeah. Anyways, the uh, 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 it's sad that we the, the culture of dishonesty, Jeff, is what I'm saying. Thank you. Like, why does the truth have to have to be a bad thing? When when we we now know how much obvious lying can be tolerated. It's yeah. like, it's so close to saying it's okay to be honest when you're just like, I'm, I'm not dumb and you like have a dumb hat on, you know? It's like, you, you're, really one, you're, a dumb hat you're one lie away from us, you, no need for the hat and you could just say, you could just say you are dumb and then we can like open a book with you and you can like look at it. You could go like, well this, I still, I don't like this book. It makes me feel dumb. That's because you are dumb and keep working. Keep working at it. I can't work. I'm president. Like, well, yeah, we know, and we 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 elected you because you're dumb. There's a lot of dumb people in the world. We love dumb people. Like, but let's try to get smarter. You know, we could all be honest. But no, it's it's all it's just lying. Everything's lying now. Oh, I can't believe that person said that. Oh, did you hear what they said? 
And even, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. It's just like whether they said it. It opens the door for vampirism. It's, it's, it's people that lie, are they, they, they figured it out. They can say the things that you're supposed to say, uh, whether anyone believes them or not. It's a, that's a terrible world to create for your shitty little children. Uh, uh, uh. I, I, are, you, are you ever going to have a child, you think? No. Well, I don't know. Well, I can't declare that. I need, I need help if I do. Wait, wait. No, walk, walk me through that. I, I don't uh, when a man loves ch- a woman. Children, uh, <laughs> children are made by two people. Thank you, Spencer. Yeah. So I, no, I'm not, I can't be the arbiter of do, like, do, oh, do you, no, I'm definitely would not Would you like to one. be a, a father of a, of a boy or a girl? I'm getting up there in age, and I don't, I feel, I still, I, no, I don't, you, I mean, think I, that Cody ship and is I are just, Cody and I are up in the air, and we're staying there about it, and uh, I just, it's getting to be a harder sell every day. Do you think that's something that you could enjoy? I don't know. I think I kind of feel like if you got to ask yourself that about yeah. something, you know, yeah, you're, you're then maybe fo- you're, take a pass. You're going to be 46 soon. It's like, what, when's the last time you like ordered in a restaurant where like, do you think that's something you could enjoy? You know, like you don't order right. that stuff. But you, yeah, now like who, who, who are you, Charlie Chaplin? Like, yeah, you, you don't, you don't want to be a 46 year old dad now, do you? Sure. I, I well, also whether whatever factors are in, you know, it's, it's like if I don't know for sure that I want to be or not, I don't like then why do it until if, I'm if, for if sure. If you had to pick, would you want a, a boy or a girl? <sighs> I don't. I just, I just would want it to be, you know, able to. Take care of itself. I mean, <laughs> what a what a great dad. Which 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 is the gender that <laughs> feeds itself as soon as it comes out of the womb, like probably, a like a like a probably. deer that just like spends some time being adorable and then just like runs off and starts eating leaves. Is that a boy or a girl? That's a girl. <sighs> Boys are fucking nonsense. It doesn't matter. Let's not. I mean, you know. There's no. Does Cody want? But let's face does, it. Does, does Cody both genders help? are fucking garbage. Can we at least? Can we at least rise to that level yeah, of they're awareness? Equi- they're equidistantly bullshit. Uh, I will. I, I, I will absolutely cop to up. There's a million things that only guys do that are fucking awful. I listen to true crime podcasts. It's like there's not even a debate about that. It's not a philosophy. It's not like ooh, we're socialized to believe that. It's like crazy. Like men are monsters, physically violent monsters. However, when it comes to who's garbage, like 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 all humans, 85% of, of, of all right. humans, no matter what category, just dummies. But if you had to pick, you would you pick what? Uh, I don't know. No, no, honestly, I don't know. I, I, I can't I can't figure out which would be worse. Would, would, would you I, rather I be a father of a boy or I understand a the question. Yeah. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying <laughs> N- not, not who do you think is better, m- male or female? Like, what, no, what, no, no, what, what do you think yeah, is yeah. easier for you? Oh, no, uh, I don't. I, honestly, I don't know because there's a, it's, 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 it's pros and cons on both. I mean, you right. got, if you get, you get, it's from a, a crime perspective, you're talking about do you, do you want to worry about someone or do you want to worry about a million people that that person leaves and goes and. Spencer, would you, would you rather uh, sire a, a daughter or a, or a son? Uh, I don't know. I, I I I don't know. If it's, you go by stages, <laughs> I go by stages. Boy, boys, boy, boys suck more earlier. That's what she said. <laughs> the girls are g- girls are cooler, like like zero through three and a half. Zero. Like like they're they're. It's like why is she so cool? I know her brother was a bag of dicks. I I, I like like. <laughs> You know, like boys, boys start to get a little like they're, they're like a little more whiny and like yeah. throwing shit around more like earlier. But then everything starts to roller coaster. <laughs> roller coaster. I'm saying there's like sine waves of like fuck, uh, ugly adjustment periods and stuff. From what I've seen, it's just like there's no science to it. There's a, there, I I do, I would I would accept it if somebody had a report that said like. I'm speculating from my anecdotal observation. I think like little girls, baby girls are initially like if you spend two years watching them from birth and then parallel to them, you're watching a little boy, 
from my experience, it seems to me, and I base this largely on watching videos that I get texted by uh, ants, um, <laughs> but like, it just seems to me like the girl makes you want to go like, I hope we have a girl. What is that reaction? No one knows I, what that reaction wh is. Wh it's just why? all it is is mugging. That's, you, it's, it's, you, there's nothing to that. No, no one knows what you're doing other than you, not liking me said, or you, what you, I'm saying. You said you get a video from ants. Yeah. yeah what, okay, what? okay. Not the ins. What? What? what, what has, it, has anyone gotten a video from an ant uh, in their lifetime? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We see some hands there. Right. I think we're, we're going to be okay. All right. Did you think I meant the insect? I just thought it was funny. Are you scared because you, you don't? You're, you've always said you're scared that ants are getting smarter, the insect. But I, I, and I keep I, saying, I, Jeff, it's summertime. They 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 get more active in the summer because they're like heat based they insects. They like water. But every year you forget the previous summer and you're like, they're taking over. I'm like, what? no, it's just you left a sandwich out. That's I, it. Okay, all right. I I just never received videos from. The ants. I, the, I, I, don't, I don't get ant videos. Does your mom have a sister? <laughs> does she? Uh -oh. Does God. your mom have a sister? She used to. Damn. Okay, well, she doesn't anymore. <laughs> Someone's walking out because of that. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked that guy. He, he didn't like it. Does your dad have a sister? Uh, he used to too. Did they have phones? Huh? Did they have phones? Yes, we have. Did the phones have video cameras in them? No. See, that's why you're confused. But why? Why ants? Why? Because moms and dads aren't the only things that come out of grandmas. <laughs> why ants? Because if I got a video from my mom of a two-year-old boy, I'd be, she'd be a kidnapper. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day. Uh, <laughs> we have, as, as, as every year, because we're proud to do the show, on Memorial Day, we have some of our war trivia. I read an article that said that like the first Memorial Day was like freed black slaves that were like memorializing the fallen, and then like everyone was like, "Nah, we're starting Memorial Day," and like kind of just crushed that out of history for a while. Yeah, I've got that right here. Shit, <laughs> I stole your thunder. That was actually that's there was a big battle over it, and uh, uh, there's a cemetery where you can go see all the Memorial Day soldiers. Because uh, it was a big war over right. over who started Memorial Day. It was like a second civil war. I got it right here. <laughs> Nantucket, 1897. Right. So this is like well into the Reconstruction, and like Spencer said, right. Black soldiers, or they weren't soldiers. They became soldiers because they were trying to celebrate a new thing they called Memorial Day. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, a white. Uh, the cavalry, it was a cavalry unit, right. came by and said, stop that, and they got in a big fight. And uh, it's in Nantucket, you can go see the uh, cemetery where all their bodies are buried. They all killed each other. It's the only war that ever happened where everybody on both sides died, and that's how the war ended. Usually there's a winner. <laughs> Um, this was the, they didn't have a, they, they couldn't call it a reservoir dog's ending back then because they didn't have that movie yet, but. <laughs> You, they didn't, and they didn't have any names for it because the only people there, they all died. They got in a big fight, and they all drew uh, at the same about time. About whether or not there should be a, a Memorial about Day. About who started Memorial Day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they all died. And eventually, someone had to come by and bury them all, and they gave them special graves. It's, in, it's, it's just outside Nantucket. Uh, you can go see just it. Just outside Nantucket. Yeah. Which is, means in the Atlantic Ocean. It's in the... <laughs> it's, it's, well... I mean, a lot of people believe that Nantucket is th the mythical Atlantis. <laughs> that they brought math to, to Phoenix. Uh, and uh, agriculture. That, 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 that's what they're, the, the Peruvians are referring to as Quetzalcoatl. Uh, it's, just, uh, <laughs> it's just hillbillies that, that came by in a boat. Why, why do you think the, per, the per, Peruvians were so involved in uh, Quetzalcoatl, like Mexican mythology? I, I don't know. They, could, they saw the Mayans doing it, and they're like, 
Yeah, I'll right. take a piece of that action. Yeah, like, <laughs> let me get in on some of this ancient civilization <laughs> business. I want to be an equatorial uh, lost people. <laughs> let me do, what do we got to do? We got to build, what do we, we got to build a pyramid? Fine. What do you, what do you think is, what, what's your favorite fun fact about Peru? Uh, I like that its capital is not what you think. What, 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 a lot of if, people. If I, if I may ask, what do you think the capital of Peru is? Well, a lot of people think it's Colombia. They, they, they think the capital of Peru is another country. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. But they'd be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what, but it's not. Well, who, who thinks that? Like a lot of people. Just, just terrible people that, like, bad. What do you like? If you went right now, you and if I, I went to Peru right yeah, now. You and I are we're on a road trip. We're in Peru. Right. What, what, what's your what road did we what's take? What's your first stop? <laughs> what's your what's our first stop in Peru? Uh, I would like to go see the famous canyons. Right. <laughs> they're not called famous canyons because they're bullshit. Yeah, they're exactly. Like I, I, I kind of I, when I when I when I'm a tourist, I don't I don't try to think lateral. You know, I'm not like take me to the real Peru. That is the real Peru. It's waiting there. It's waiting there for you. Like, like there's a reason why people there. go to take pictures of the Peruvian canyons. Yeah, the famous, the famous Peruvian canyon. That's the first place I'd go. That's your first stop. That's where the George now, Washington now, of now Peru. Now, let's go. Let's go off the beaten track. And then, the, 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 what's your, what's your hipster? Like, we're gonna go somewhere groovy. Well, look, I uh, look, I, I just told you right. I don't do that uh, yeah, but but, yeah, but. Let, I, let, let's uh, say you're going to be yeah, there's a big hipster scene in Peru right now called like neo Peruvian like yeah. uh, fusion like whatever it's like right. I don't want it I don't I don't need that shit I could <laughs> I could get that shit on the sunset strip man I'm not going to, I'm not going to fucking downtown Peru <laughs> I'm going to the canyons <laughs> Down Peru. I'm going to the canyons baby yeah where it all started. That's why, yeah, that's why they're called canyons, because it starts low. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> um, we're going to do uh, horoscopes now. We're going to do se more segments in the show. Right. So uh, That's cool. Oh, did I finish with my Memorial Day trivia? No. War, just, well, it, was, yeah. it was just supposed to be war trivia, and then you guys started... Uh, Biting your head off. Uh, it just started sharing some stuff, and then I, I yes ended it, and then uh, and then we saw how that went. So, uh, but uh, what, what what horoscope? What what uh, war trivia? War, war war trivia is the first thing I said. I mean, we can skip that. I, I got a bunch of uh, war trivia. Do, do you want a? Uh, do you want music for this? Sure. Okay. Let me. Let me uh... <laughs> Okay, so 1943, right? The bloodiest battle of World War II. Where, where was that staged? Uh, it was an island in the South Pacific. Okay. Called Guadalcanal. Your, your dad died there. Grandpa. Grandpa did not die there. But he he wished killed a lot of people. Probably. He, he pro <laughs> never never talked about it. The Silent Generation, they called them. Didn't say much. I mean, he talked a lot, but not about the war. Right. What did he talk about when he wasn't talking about the war? What was his topic of uh, choice? He, li he, li he liked to build stuff, like decks. <laughs> he was a welder. Uh, he kind of would make fun of uh, m m my great-grandma. Uh, Boucher? My yeah, but you know, I wasn't around. But to, didn't Grandma Bush a kill? A, she stabbed a person. Yeah, but there are, <laughs> these people are all dead now, so I feel like we can't even. I'm so sick of sharing my like family goodies, and then like when I talk to my mom about it, I'm like, I always she's like, "Where'd you hear that?" And I'm like, "I don't, I don't want to be a part of this disintegration of all of the truth of my family," mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Like I don't, I don't, I don't even. I've, I've. There's so many like little details. I don't know if this has happened to you guys. Like, you talk to your, maybe you're younger, but like, it, it's just like I, I don't know if this is a, f 
it's it's just we it's like it's like it's it's like the inversion of the terrible twos like uh your parents just start learning the word no like like, like the, as they become adult children it's just like hey, and then remember that one thing we always joke about no we don't and it's just like like mm, yeah i'm i'm going to take as much as i give now i'm 70 like like it's just <laughs> It's just like, they, they just they just start to get a little snotty at the end there. Like they're they're just like mm, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you weren't a good kid. I don't know. You know they're just sort of like hacking everything now. It's this Trump. They've it's made the the baby boomers all fucking nutty. They're, they're just like what's truth? I don't know. Fake news. Like and so I don't even want to like bring the precious stuff over. Like I, I'm I, I want to keep that lore. Like like because now everything's up for debate. Like I don't. I go, I go, I, I ask my mom for, you got any of the home movies? Uh, you know, like, and she's like, what? Home movies? Like, looked at me like a, just a fucking piece of shit. Your mom? And, yeah, like I was, like, like I was talking in Martian or something. I'm like, yeah, the home movies. Like, I don't know. Don't you have like that, 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 uh, CD, the DVD with like all the shit you compiled. And it's like got all the old Super 8 stuff. It's like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And, it's just, and then she, she looked at Cody, and she's like, uh, we, we, we were a poor family. We couldn't really afford cameras and things when what? we were a thing. And I was like, Mom, what? The, you, I don't know, Your dude. dad's business was, was recording stuff. Uh, right, yeah, and, and I was just like, and, re- and, <laughs> and here's the thing. Right now, w- one way or another, my mom's going to hear this. And then and then and then it's more fucking butter in the churn. It's just more fucking shit that I don't. It's like I don't. It it it. it like the next thing I'll hear if I hear anything is uh, I didn't say that. I did, we didn't have that conversation right. where I said we never had cameras. I'm. I don't care. I love her, mom. I love you. I'm like I, I don't. I, I promise I won't talk about my family anymore. Jesus Christ! I just want it to be like a fucking crater. But but there is video evidence of the things you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's fucking insane. Like the shit, and then the shit she remembers. She went through a twenty cat list of all the cats we've killed. It was like. <laughs> Wait, uh, wait, she was let, like, let, let, let's, she got lost in that let, shit. Let's was, talk about that. It was like the what? fucking like I was like gripping Cody's hand. I was I was like, this is some fucking podcast shit. Like like I mean like talking to like what's his name uh, Israel Keys tapes and shit. Like like uh, like she just going through the like she just got lost. Like it was like she was talking about the. Uh, the you know the one the, the cats that they they do have and then there was like the cats that we did have and then the cat and then like you know and then she mentioning like well then that cat got sick and then you know it's hard it was cat and then she was just like kind of backtracking through this big long list and then a lot of them had like questionable kills in there like 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 it was sort of like oh and then Mr. Peanut you know Mr. he Peanut? he kept going near the pool and you can't have a cat go near the pool so <laughs> you know it was like holy shit she's Dexter she's cat Dexter. <laughs> Like she's just making up reasons now. I, I didn't even know this until like, like she's just like, oh, and he was he he didn't like how loud the fridge was, so blip, arsenic and old lace, like just fucking, oh god, god damn, this bitch kills cats <laughs> and remembers every goddamn one, but she thinks cameras don't exist. Like I'm I'm tired of it, and don't even be telling me about no dementia or Alzheimer's. It ain't that. It's not that. It's like it's it's this it's this. F- it's this Facebook, like, Trump, like, fake news thing. It's like this fucking Fox News, like, and my mom's not a conservative, not that that matters, but I'm just saying, like, it's this fucking world that's been created around them. We took, we took a generation that was, like, so fucking orgasmically proud of itself, like, just, oh, this is, like, they're, they're like, 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 they're, like they're watching a dude bounce around on the moon, and, like, he's just going, like, I'm on the moon, you did it, you did it, teenagers, thanks, here's Elvis and the Beatles as a reward for putting me on a moon. <laughs> and they were just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. and, and like, like, like oh, we should have as many babies as our parents did, even though the reason they did is because they fought Hitler. Let's do it. We earned it. We put a guy on the moon. And then they're like, whoa, peace, love, and all that Forrest Gump shit. And then like, <laughs> like they're just like, it was just a dangerous animal to put in a digital box. That was just a fucked up thing to do. Like they weren't ready for the for a di- 
They weren't ready for the fucking uh, lawnmower man uh, threshold. They weren't ready to be become cyber Christ. Like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 I should have known for the look in my mom's eye the minute she got a hold of a Tetris paddle. Like, I, I, I should have recognized the look, but I didn't know. I was, like, addicted to video games and stuff, too. But it was just like, oh, they're not ready. They're not ready for the dopamine. They're, they're like, oh, my God. Jesus, there's a farm on my on the same screen where I can check in with my grandkids. They're just they lost their fucking mind. And then the and then 9/11 happened and they're like, "That eagle's crying in the email. The eagle's crying in the email." <laughs> they freaked the fuck out. All of us are getting all these emails and all the emails. The coat hanger bandit, he's coming for you. Where's building 7? The eagle's crying. <laughs> It became like a meme. They're like, Dad, stop forwarding. You know, it's like, oh, a, 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 here's a Polish joke, and here's a fucking crying eagle, and here's a warning about you. Yeah, pantyhose are giving you cancer. And I was just, they're just kidding. And then, and then, and then, and then, the, you know, some, some fucking uh, clever little AI figured out it only took them 25 years ago. Like, gee, I guess you could win an election this way. I mean, these people technically are allowed to vote. Fuck it. <laughs> Hey, did you hear there's a black guy under your car? Minnesota? Vote for Trump. And they're just like, click, 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 clickety clack, clickety clack. They're fucking idiots. They're, they weren't ready for it. They just weren't ready. My mom, <laughs> my mom's a similar story. Like, even when I was like early 20s, like there was stuff where it's like very clear, vivid memories of stuff that happened and stuff that was validated by their stories later on. Like, remember when we did this thing? And then it's just like they just have no recollection of it. It's like, okay. And well, then they get kind of mad too. And I think there's a little bit of edge to it with right. me where it's like, ugh, Dan, the, 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 the black sheep. You know, the guy with the motor mouth, yeah. Mr. Podcast, Mr. fucking TMZ, Mr. You know. And my mom's super into like health stuff and always has been like caring about health and alternative health. And so she's on Facebook now. And she's like, you know, these people are drinking down watered down bleach. It's curing their cancer. And I'm like, I don't I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I think you gotta, yeah, it's, it's scary know. stuff. They, you, got, you, you gotta water down your bleach, by the way. You do, especially if you're gonna drink it to you cure your cancer. You can't just be drinking straight bleach. You no, gotta, dude. You gotta, you gotta water it down. I mean, they, uh, truly, they, like, like they, got on, they got on that Facebook arc, and they were just like, oh, this is wonderful. I like the cushions. There's a slot machine. How many fucking Muslims are there? <laughs> They were just like, what is with this? What is happening? There's a, what? With the Congress and the, th what is happening? They were like freaking out. Yeah. And then it was like easy to grab them. I mean, I, I'm 46 and I, was, I wasn't ready. Like, uh, these fucking, b b b b fucking how, how many like, Muslims, potato how, how people. How many Muslims are there, do you think? Uh, like, I don't know. Too many for anybody, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He said those, that combination of words, and then they... <laughs> It's just the worst. Like, like, don't, don't fuck up my already bad mood, you, you bunch of fucking raisinets. <laughs> raisinets. That's the worst thing you could call somebody. I mean, thanks for coming out and everything. <laughs> I hope you have a safe drive home, but please you don't be so stupid nets. that I have to get angry at you. <laughs> and by stupid, I mean don't have a visceral, autonomic, unconscious reactions to things yeah. that sound racist. Be sophisticated. Suck up the toxicity and just process it and just let it go through all your veins and take it home with you and like wipe it on your significant other. <laughs> Seethe it in the shower in a, in, a, in a nice, in a steam. That's what my generation used to do. Just take it in. You read something stupid on a billboard. You can't. You can't go. You can't give it a thumbs down. We didn't have that luxury. We were just like, ugh, ugh, oh, I hate it. I hate everything. Ugh, I hate the sandwich. I hate. I hate Mickey Mouse. I hate Coca Cola. Oh, I hate corporations. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have a baby. Hey bud. Hey bro. Hey bud. Hey bro. Hey bud. Hey, you're my bro. You're my baby, but you're my bro. I'm never going to hit you, and that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> that's it. That's the Mount Everest of parenting. Hey, bro. Hey, bud. Same level. Equals, right? I'm going to be a fucking horrible person. That's cool. Cool with me, bro. 
I didn't hit you though. Yeah. Never laid a fucking finger on you. Yeah. See, you, you should have a kid. Yeah. <sighs> nah, dog. <laughs> don't, don't dog me after all that. I don't want no kid running around my house. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I, I, sometimes I think maybe. I like I like that they like I like that they like like bits, you know. Like I like that they like songs. Like you can make up a song and they'll they like yeah. the song. I mean that's cool. Yeah, I, like they'll I, like they'll be a fan of the song that you make up. Like they'll you can like you you can go like my name is Poopy Butternuts. I like to eat the buttercup, and they'll just be like. They'll start. They'll memorize it. Start singing yeah. it. Like they'll. Yeah, they'll... My, my my dad sang like like hilarious improv songs all the time. I, I think that's why I like bad improv songs. So that, but but that seems like a bad reason. That seems doesn't seem like a, a good reason to have a kid. But then you start thinking, well, what are you supposed to follow your bliss when it comes to having a kid? Then don't have a kid, right? Like like because that kid's gonna poop their pants. Oh, speaking of pooping. <laughs> so Here we. Go. we, we we went house hunting this weekend. Right. Found a really we find, we've been very picky and very taking it very slowly. This isn't this isn't like we need a house. This is like where where do we want to die or whatever. Like what like like what what's too much, you know? Too much bliss. Like we're already happy. What would make it a little ridiculous? What would make me come home from work every day and go, "Fuck you." <laughs> That's the standard I'm holding it to when I walk. I go, I go to these open houses. I'm like, I want, I want so much house. I want to like, like take a couple turns and how be like, where the fuck am I? Yeah. How many fucking, how many fucking ways to get to the pool are there? Jesus Christ! What is this a guy? Are you, are you, what does a governor live here? I'm you, gonna punch someone. You showed me a photo of this house. Are, are you gonna be in the pool? You don't, I'm gonna. You, I'm gonna you, you don't strike me as a pool goer. That pool is all about. Uh, the, dude, that's that's Cody's got to have a pool, and, and I got to have a Cody. I, 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 you you got to have a Cody. That I agree with. But like, why do you have like you're not going to go in that pool? So what do you want me to do? To, to, what, how do how does this work in your I, mind? I, I'm saying, do, are, Cody, are, I don't need a pool, and you do I, need are, a pool. Are, are, are Let's you, compromise. No pool. Are you are you going to have pool parties? Are you going to be the? Pool yes, guy? of course I will have pool parties. No, you're not going to have enough fucking. Why did you ask the question so that you can because fight with me? I what kind of I co-host are you? I don't think that you're gonna you're ever going to go in the pool. I okay. I mean, what do you? You're like Oscar the Grouch or something. Like, what do you? You're looking. You're actively looking for like things to I, argue I, I, about. I'm just saying. Is, is there a world where Dan Harmon is a pool a swimmer? I d I'll get in. I'll get in a pool as as you as little did. as the next guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to... I want you to go in the pool. I'm, I'm I not saying I, I don't want you to go in the pool. I, I, I'm, I, I just wonder whether you're going to go in the pool. I'm going to have a pool. Right. I'm going to own the pool. Right. Cody is going to be very happy... Be in the pool. ...to be in the pool. Okay. And the pool is going to be right there at my house... Dig it. ...making Cody and I a very happy, functional okay. couple, where I like I could sit next to it. If I don't want to get in it, I, I could sit next to it. Do, uh, but, uh, here, here, here's my, my iPad. question. Do, do you think that you might become a pool person after you have a pool? Never know. Not necessary in order for me to continue to enjoy the pool, though. Right. Because I'll so, be like, well, so I got that pool. It's not pool-based, uh, you having a pool. I'm not... A yeah, exactly. I'm not like, I can't wait to be a pool guy. This pool is going to change me. It's like... This this pool is going to be a great thing what, to have. What, what, I, I'm picturing you b becoming very tan, like you're going to be Ray Winston and Sexy Beast, and you you live in Greece, and you have a you have a you have a pool, and that you're just you're you're just really tan. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably just clip my toenails more. I think that'll do. <laughs> wait, 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 why why is that a, a pool? Well, because I feel like if a, a pool, the pool lifestyle involves more like bare feet and ant plus like com more company. Right. Uh, and right now. Cody's being way too tolerant of some fucking gnarly shit going on on my <laughs> leg. I, I, it's just, I don't... Wait, wait break it down. What, what are you well, talking about? I just have fucking nasty, disgusting toenails right now, and I, I always do. I, I, cl I clip them, and then I get to spend, like, two days being proud of myself. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll walk around in the sandals, or, or, you know, I'll get the food in the bare feet, and then I'll, 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 from, the, from the door. That's where food comes from, the front door. <laughs> And uh, that's where the food. And I'm, and I'm just like, hey, thanks. 
<laughs> I do a little. I put a little, little like I'm. Do you, do you ever go get your uh, your nails did? Like, at, no, at a, I'm never gonna do that. I, I, because I'm. F- f- but the, and then the thing is, they just shoot out everything in my body, the hair and the nails, like everything just, everything just shoots out. Like, like I'm just like a fucking like pustule of like uh, let, of let, let's hair go, and let, oil. Let's, and, you, let's you and me go get our nails done together. Okay. Uh, so anyway, doing really this, fun. doing this, w- went to this house. We like this house, and uh, uh, me and Cody liked the house. Did you say who did pooping? Oh, pooping. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so I was like, really, was, we're getting so excited because we've been we've been so picky about it, and we were looking at a lot of houses, and it's like st- starting to wonder. I, this is kind of crazy. Is it possible to please us? Like, it, it, are we ever gonna, like? And I guess that's okay. I already got. I mean, there's no hurry. But at the same time, you start to think, like, wait, what is? What's like? What? I guess maybe, maybe houses just suck. Maybe just all houses doesn't matter. And then, and then finally, you just walk into one where you both are vibing it. And then we're walking around, we're like, oh my god, oh my god, this is the best house. This is the best house. And it was like a, like a new house, and they had just built it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so they were having an open house and there were these old ladies hanging out. They were just hanging out. It was like a gang of old ladies. I swear they just live in the neighborhood and they just came there. Oh, it's an open house. Was it Cactus Bunch? (laughs) Cactus Bunch. Yeah. They, 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 they they were sitting, uh, in the, in one of the, in like in the side room and one of them had a bag of groceries. Like they, it was just like. They're, they're just like, hey, it's an open house. Let's go look at these houses, and we'll just hang out. They're just sitting and hanging out. Were they, were they looking for houses, or they, they just? They're... My suspicion is no. I mean, they, it just. I, but I don't want to be. You know, I mean, like, I guess maybe one of them would be like, okay, I, 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 I'm gonna buy it because I can. I, I, I just needed to break it in and feel like I could get be coming home from groceries right. and hang out with my friends. And I don't think I think they were just looky loos. You know, they were just like uh, they were just hanging out. So, so not not a crime, but uh, kind of in the way a it lot. But be. Uh, but a big house, so they weren't really in the way. And then like the la- it was like on the tail end of I was so excited, so excited about this house, man. I'm just like getting really excited. I think we're gonna actually put an offer on this place. There, you really think? Yeah, like you, you, oh my god, oh oh. And there's another oh. The, the, oh you, you, did you see the other bathroom over here? Oh, and, and like w- went in there and it was like oh this is a good bathroom. And, oh oh. Like one of those ladies took a huge shit no. in the open house. What? It's like marked for life now. It's crazy. I'm kind of stoked about it because it's just gonna be legendary. Like I'll, I, I just, but but it was. I just couldn't believe I, it. I, I took the first poop in your place. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't an open house. I just you go into an open house and you took right. a dump. It's pretty amazing. That's what the kids would call baller, I guess, for an old lady. That's like like gangsta old lady. Like she just took a dump in the open house toilet and then just sat next to it and was what, like, "What if that's their game? Like, like they just go around pooping in people's houses." So we looked at this other place, and uh, and Cody's immediately. She's like, "I don't like, I don't like the vibe of this place." I'm like, "What's the vibe? You gotta." I, it's okay for you to not like. I, I just want to make sure you're not talking about the wallpaper because that can change. You know, it's like I, it's hard to talk about whether you like a place or not. And uh, like, like, and it's just like, I don't, I just don't like, I just don't like the feeling of the place. I don't like the feeling of it. And, uh, uh, uh like, uh, I guess the layout and it's like, whatever. Uh, and then, uh, the realtor guy's like, you know, and it's great. Uh, it's a great neighborhood. A lot of great places to eat. You know, what's over there is a uh, cafe, such and such. And, uh, and Cody goes, oh yeah, isn't that, uh, isn't that where Robert Blake sh- shot his <laughs> wife? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. I think that I think that might be. I think that might be it. Yeah. And then we continue looking at the I, house. I, I know that the place. House. They changed it now. And so. we go home. We get in bed. We're like the thing. We're like, I'm like, S- you sure you don't like that? And then the email, bing. And the real the it's our realtor saying that realtor just emailed. He's saying it, it was Robert Blake's house. I was like. But you were talking about uh, you. You, if it's listed, you might want to move into the. Uh, the I don't, no, the, I never the, said I might want to move. Well, I mean, like, like what you he's talking about the jor- I, I And by the way, I don't know why I thought it was listed. I, was, I don't know how I got that conflated. But but it, it, the, it goes uh, it goes up for sale once in a while because nobody wants to live in the house where the murders happened. The uh, George Hodel house, Hodel the the, Hodel. the, um, the Black Dahlia. Yeah, the guy who probably maybe killed the Black Dahlia. He, he probably killed, in that house he if he killed did. Her, yeah. 
uh, in the basement, and that that it's a house on a uh, yeah whatever. It's, it, but it's like it's like it's a Lloyd Wright. It looks like a stone butthole outside. It's, yeah. it's got this weird yeah. kind of architectural. I don't I, no. Thing. I would never. I I would never. I don't no. Yeah. Unless if my partner was like through the roof about it, was like I want to live in the house where a famous murder happened. I, 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 it would be like a pool. I mean, I'd be like, well, it's, I mean, you being happy is like very important to me. I, I, I if it's haunted, I guess we can move. Yeah. And, and when they relisted it like a, a couple years ago, uh, the police, like somebody was repraising the house and they brought cadaver dogs and they hit on the fucking room where all the murders happened. <laughs> so like, like somebody died there. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to live in that house. It's kind of a closed case, that that, that little nugget. It's well, because he's it's dead. Just and that it never the, was the, official because it's like all the, the stuff. The, but there's, there's no, uh, what do you call it? Corpus delectus? Corpus. But, you know, Aspie D, who was on the show, who did, you, did, did you, get, you guys enjoy? Well, don't let me put you on the spot. Did you guys like, you like our friend Ryan Krauss? You like Fuck him? yeah. Uh, because we'll, we'll, we'll have him back all the time. Uh, I, I, I like him as a person. I think he's a great guy. Uh, 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 but he was telling me that the that guy who's like the hero of that story is like Hodel's son, who became a cop, and then and then and then he became convinced that his dad was the Black Dahlia murderer, and he basically like spent the rest of his life in retirement, like building the case and solving it like like yeah that was my dad did it and then it seemed pretty legit to me and then you can listen to that podcast i can't remember what it's called now god damn it it's like a serial podcast that's produced by some of the hodel children um uh the but then aspie d was saying yeah but then that guy lost all his credibility when he started saying oh yeah and plus he might have been uh zodiac and I was like, really? That was him? And I, was, I didn't look that like, 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 like he, he wasn't the Zodiac. I mean, whether he was or not, it was like, I didn't, he made it sound like maybe the same guy that I thought was like a smart, the, the, the detective guy that retired and proved that his dad was the Black Dahlia murderer. Then uh, later on was like, plus he was the Zodiac killer, <laughs> which would change things in my head about whether or not this guy actually, I mean... Anyways, not interesting, Dan Harmon. We don't care about your dumb uh, conversations with yourself about a fucking crime within a crime within a true crime podcast. The rest of us are living our lives. We're into self care. We're not. We're not in a toxic tailspin where we uh, play uh, match games uh, like uh, Best Fiends um, uh, or 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 candy cookie cookies. Uh, <laughs> While we listen to podcasts about murder, because we're obviously like having a real hard time and we're not admitting it, like we're 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 doing yoga and uh, we 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 only listen to uh, 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 shows about yoga. Oh, are you, are you going through a rough patch right now? No, I don't think so. They do. <laughs> you heard them. That was them. Pay attention. What's, it wasn't me talking. I'm fucking happy. What's Best Fiends? It's uh, it's like a matchy. It's one of those matchy games where like the matching like shoots the bad guy. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you like it's like you get a bunch of different colored cookie candy things and then you you like you know you connect them connect the ones that are next Have to you each seen other my, uh, and then that. my Best Fiend uh, about uh, Klaus Kinski and uh, Werner Herzog. Yeah, it's really good. Damn. Yeah. Is that, is that what it's based on? Or? Yeah, it's based on that, yeah. <laughs> you're killing, you're attacking Warner Herzog. <laughs> it was advertised in this true crime podcast called the, oh, I never remember the names. They're all so bad at naming their podcasts. I think it's called the Serial Killer Podcast. <laughs> it's this Norwegian guy. His name is like Thomas Born Cyborg or something. <laughs> Hello, Thomas Born Hello, Cyborg. dear listeners. It's me, Thomas Born Cyborg Born, here, your Norwegian host, here to talk about the insidious Jeffrey Dahmer. And then every time he mentions, like, if there's anything that happens in, like, Louisiana or Atlanta or anything like that, he affects this uh, weird accent. 
uh, like he starts talking like a like a like a Southern American. Oh. <laughs> like, can, like, can you do like, it? I try. I try. I mean, it's hard to do his accent from the beginning. So like, but it's like uh, the 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 toy box killer was the most prolific uh, serial killer, depending on who who you believe. Texas Texas authorities ha- uh, say that he might have killed as many as uh, five hundred people. <laughs> Like, like he, he just, he just starts talking like his version of Southern Americans, just because he's like, I'm gonna give it a little cayenne pepper, cause we're talking Louisiana here, and uh, and it was like normally it's charming, but then there was one episode where he was the story was about the Atlanta Ripper, which was like this fucked up like. Uh, uh, I can't remember if it was like during Reconstruction or like if it was or if during the Civil War or before. It's like like around a time like when, unlike now, when things were not hunky dory like in terms of between people talking to each other. And um, and there was like a serial killer who was like killing. Uh, uh, it was it was it was like Jack the Ripper, but in Atlanta, and it went, but and. St- steeped in racism like in terms of the suspect and the and the who was getting charged and what the cops were doing with all the time and like that that was like he, him he didn't he didn't he's purely innocent but it was just amazing the, the effect of it being like a train crash it was like he was it, him reading quotes from racist cops at the turn of the century um, in this silly accent, <laughs> and also he sounds like you know the guy from the Sugar Cubes, and like it's just sort of like the effect was like blah. And then the in the next episode, he was like, "Hello, dear listeners, it's time for more creepy crawly, a uh, serial killer podcasting." I a lot of reviews from the last episode <laughs> uh, saying don't do that anymore, and I won't. Uh, it was, uh, <laughs> My hat, my hats off to people that read read their reviews of anything. God oh, damn. Yeah. And then and then take it right on the chin and make an adjustment or don't. You know. Have, have you totally stopped doing that? Like I can't. You, yeah, I'm, I can't anymore. Do, you, I can't. I mean, it's I can't. hard to get the podcast reviews. You really have to go out of your way to look for your podcast reviews. Yeah. Like on well, iTunes. ostensibly they would be like iTunes. You, you, you go on the, on Reddit, right? Like you, oh, I go on Reddit. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just back the fuck off, because I'm there. No, but I'm just, I'm talking about the iTunes reviews. It's funny, you know, Aspie D, like one of his earliest episodes. Aspie D! Yeah, and I'm sorry if you're listening to this, no offense, this is uh, reporting facts. But um, he, he early on, he's like, give me, give me reviews, even a one-star review is fine, it helps me understand what I'm doing. And like the next time he invokes reviews, he's like, give me a five-star review. And then like the <laughs> next time he invokes reviews, he's like, give me a five-star review. I know some of you won't, but please do. So it's like a real arc he goes on. Well, I li- I liked it when he said something to the effect of like, "Give me a five star review because cool people would do that and don't tend to give reviews, and a bunch of assholes give me one star reviews." Right. So the fact is, if you don't give me five star reviews, if you think I'm doing good, yeah. like it it it, it 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 fucks me up because everyone else is such a dick. That's the truth, but it might he less didn't say be... that defensively, but right, but it might less be because people are dicks and more because he encouraged them to do that. Uh. Right. Well, what I look, that's why I never ever ever have right. said in my life even before podcast culture like I, I yeah, I I don't want to even go near that feedback loop. I, I like that idea of having to ask people to rate, subscribe and like and stuff. I I'm I I don't fault anybody who has to participate in that currency oh, no, you gotta. because because that's what it is. It's a currency, but I I'm, I'm out. Like I, to me that's like a greenback dollar and I'm like a carpet bag and like like I'm that's that's before my time. I'm not, I'm not you, I'm you, not, I'm not, you're, you're really I, I, all about uh, Reconstruction uh, yeah. America. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, what, what, what is your hang-up with, with uh, post-Civil War America? <laughs> I just think they could have done a better job of, you know... <laughs> I mean, you you make a bed, then you right. then you lie in why, it. Why were there ba- why were there, why were there it? bags made of carpet? The, uh, that, that I don't know. Is. What is a carpet bagger? It's just it's isn't that like a northerner that's like coming down south to like uh, exploit uh, just everybody or what is that? Yeah, is that it, what like that the, is? To, to take over like like buy property because it's cheap because right. the, the the whole the whole it's like a nor- economy's it, gone it's, to a, shit. it's a northern elitist interloper. Yeah, right. So yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, like, like pod, podcasting is just like it is the. It's like this crazy wild west like thing. And like, so anybody who's like, hey, you gotta, you gotta, 
give me give me scalps or give me bottle caps or give me horse hooves like i'm not i don't judge anybody like hey that's terrible but i'm also not trading in it yeah. hey do me a favor give this podcast a one star review and then stick it up your ass and i'm never going to look at it and i don't care like that's my that has to be my philosophy or i'd kill myself but it, it does suck cuz it's like like then you're like well, now you just removed the meaning from... Right, from, it's all from, this... It's like the Uber thing. It's the five-star reviews have no, no fucking meaning. Yeah. It's so stupid because you just want to... What happens You want to rate things. When you get a, you take a lift and you forget to hit the stars and you just say next... Someone gasped. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that, that doesn't mean that you gave them zero stars. That meant like you just skipped that process, right? I think right? so. I One time so. I accidentally slipped and hit like two stars and I was like, oh no, how can I fix this? And right. I called like customer support or well, I emailed them. They didn't get back to me. <laughs> it, is, it gives it's me a, anxiety too. I put up with problem. a lot of shit because I don't want to be the reason. I don't want to ding someone's Five, not unless I intend to, right? Right. But but if you accidentally just say skip it and send to lift, and you don't give them any stars, that that means that you skipped that step, right? I think it doesn't doesn't mean that you gave them zero stars. I I hope I I believe that's the case. I I do it all the time. I keep picturing you guys with extra ears tonight. Like what? Dan's been standing up. I keep thinking, like, what if Dan had four ears? Well, what about six? Are you are you on mescaline? What's going on right no, now? No, I that's what's so fucked up is like I'm like, why is this my brain doing? Okay, so why is this my brain doing? Wait. How many ears do I have right now? Four is I can't I can't picture you with six. I think because you're straight on. Like you're facing you're facing me. Well, see now what? I can see six. That could be that could be a thing. You don't have a trick to make glasses tighter, do you? That I gotta, I gotta go to the thing, right? Uh, well, where do you want them tighter? On the, um, on your ears area? Yeah, like I mean, they just fall off my head. They're like there are two, they're spreads too wide. Right. I don't know what the terminology. The best is. podcast in the world. <laughs> it's good. I think their hinges are too are hyper extended. Yeah. You got like the plastic frame, so I think you need like a hair dryer or something. You can't just bend it. You you can take it, you, you can, can take it to it. a uh, to a glass place and, th- and they'll they'll bend them in definitely in. the op, the the place that sold me the glasses not a glass place not like 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 a glass a glasses uh, per- 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 like yeah. a yeah like a like a like yeah. like yeah. Warby Parker sure you can take like one of their Parker. kiosks at uh, Burning I use Man. their home try on kit. Uh, so how, okay, well t- now tell us we don't have a guest so uh, uh, oh I only come here for the surprise guests. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let's bring a surprise guest out that'd of the a, audience. That would be a super sp- special kind of Harmontown live podcast fan. The the person that's like, I only come to this fucking thing because every once in a while Judd Apatow comes I, out. I was gonna say Judd Apatow. And they're, and they're like, I they're was like, gonna pick the so, same like, God damn it, that's ninety in a row. Yeah, I fucking god damn it, these fuckers. <laughs> I was going to say Judd Apatow, sir. <laughs> should, should, should we bring somebody up? Should we, should, should we try to... No, well, uh, first I want to talk to Spencer about his uh, surgery. Hey, oh, yeah. So, uh, you, your hip is uh, okay, or what's, what's happening? I think so. I don't know. I got surgered. It was, uh, it was okay. Oh, <laughs> man. Surgery talk. <laughs> Can we can we you can we get that a drop Dan, of can that? Can you can you take this seriously for a moment? <laughs> My man got his hip cut open. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was it was it was a it was a mess. Hope you got. Uh, wait, sorry, I wanted to do the low, low one. one. Is hope that you the, got what's, what? What's the low low one? Is that you low? want it to be more male? Oh uh, well. No, no, you didn't. Okay. All right. That's a hat and a hat. All right. No, that's sorry. That's a hat and a hat. Sorry. What's a hat and a hat? A hat and a hat. That's no, uh, this is called a hat. A hat on a hat. Yo. I'm a hat on a hat. Yo, what you think about that? Comedic spin on top of spin. Nothing ironic here. Ask him. Yo, someone starts to do something weird. Then something else is weirdness is beard. So you got weird with a beard. And that's double weird. And that's just confusing. Yo, sometimes they call it a sock barrel in some different kinds of writer rooms. It's an, un- it's an unnecessary connection. It confuses people. Like if your character's name is... Uh, 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 I think if your character has cancer, and then he's talking about 
the Zodiac, and then he's like, I have, yeah, I'm a Cancer, and then people are like, is that supposed to be a joke or what? And they're like, you gotta change it to Capricorn, because otherwise that's what they call a sock barrel. But comedically, we call it spin on top of spin usually. <laughs> Like if you're doing a hilarious uh, Star Wars spoof, what are you doing? What are you hitting? Come on, just let Spencer talk about his surgery. That's the point. That's spin on top of spin. I'm being the asshole. I'm right. interrupting his surgery talk with like being a, a goof guy and, on and, the and thing, I, and then I, you're and like, I, I, I hit the gas pedal. That's not a gas. Well, that's two gas pedals then. That could be Is really it? funny. I don't know. Or, or uh, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, a, uh, or maybe you're hit, maybe if someone's already got their foot on the gas, then the pedal that you're hitting is, is the brake. It's like another way of looking at it. Spin right. on top of spin. Hat on a hat. Sock barrel. Sock. Sock barrel. What do you call it when Jeff's doing that and then someone makes the lights all funky and crazy? That is, uh, what is that? <laughs> he, he hates it. He hates it. It's pretty funny. He's so mad. I, I'm mad. Uh, I must have resting mad face because uh, I am fucking bored. Um, all right. So <laughs> I. Uh, I, I, why, I'm, why, I'm why, fantasizing why? about an iPad game. Uh -huh. um, why? Why is our show two hours? I keep looking at the clock. And the, oh, I don't fuck, know. We have we have three hundred hours to go. I don't know. I mean, it's you know, so, the show is so long. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what? It, who else has a two-hour podcast? Anybody? Paul. Uh, what's his name? P. Holmes has like a five-hour podcast. Yeah, but, but he's crazy. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Okay, so your surgery. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I was I was gonna like my, my mom wanted to be involved, and you need someone who you care about. No, that's not a prerequisite. You need someone that tr you trust um, to <laughs> to get you home from the thing because you can't. And then they're supposed to watch you for twenty four hours apparently. But you can't just like call an Uber or a taxi apparently, because like if you die, like if you start dying in a taxi, I guess they'll dump you out or something. I don't know. I don't know what the thinking is there. But um, so it's, it's like if your cat starts puking on the carpet. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you just lift it. <laughs> when my cat starts puking on the carpet, I try and stuff like a shirt under there. So and you, then she starts freaking out and running away, and I'm like, no, you stay here and barf like a good boy. <laughs> Um, you, so you went under general anesthesia, and you have to have somebody take you home. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to drive myself home, but Lyft is like a thing now. It seems yeah. very easy to get someone, whatever. I See, did have I a, guess they, they could mug you. When, when, I, when I went under, there was a whole rigmarole there that I didn't expect to be so, because I was like, I just want to take a car. And they're like, well, right. we have a car service that we can provide, but it, uh, blah, 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 and all this stuff. And yeah. It started to get so insulting that I was just like, I was like, yeah, fine. Like, what? Like, because I always perceive that as like people uh, trying to act like I'm. Like they're they're like mm, well you know that's gonna cost you money and I always have the opposite reaction I should have which is like I get mad and want to throw money at them to right. prove that I'm like you thought I was a clampet but I'm a Beverly Hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be like a liability thing, right? So, which is so, always the worst so you, reason you, you, for you things. You did to take happen. a lift home from the no no. So I got my mom. She was gonna she was gonna come over and and take me there. And so um, I was like, okay, so be in my house at noon, and then we could get over, we could drive over and be there at one or whatever. And then so like um, I, I like was taking a nap because I was getting nervous, and I was like, I don't want to be conscious anymore. This is this, thinking about stuff is a bad idea. And so I took a nap, and then I woke up, and my mom like sent me a text at like eleven fifty five saying like, all right, I'm on my way, and she lives like an hour away, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And then so I call her up. I'm like, well, how far are you? And she's like, oh, I'll be there by one, right? And I was like, no, we got to be there at one. And then uh, I start freaking out. And then she's like, okay, I'm sorry. And um, then I had to get a lift over there. And then she met me there. And then we were kind of late. 
But it ended up being fine. I thought like the surgery was going to start like shortly after one, but then we had to wait for two hours for it to start. And I was like, well, Jesus Christ. And then I started getting like less ready. Like I was like, if it's two hours, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stand for this. Like this sucks. And I was just getting really nervous and stuff. And then finally they, they took me in and, um, what they did normal stuff they oh yeah the anesthesia guy came by and he was like uh are you ready and i was like i I guess and he was like you guess and i was like yeah i mean i guess i've been waiting for like two hours and i started to like psych myself out and he's like well you know usually people are always mad at the anesthesia guy save an earful for your doctor and i'm like i'm thinking like what the fuck are you talking about man and then and then um my mom like senses this tension or whatever and then she's like are you ready? And the guy's like, I guess. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is totally unearned. He has this chip in the, his shoulder because, like, apparently he, he feels like he takes a lot of lip from nervous patients who are about to get cut the fuck open and killed and re- brought back to life. It's like the, the anesthetic's like the highest paying job in the hospital, right? Like, he could fucking take a knee for this. Like, Jesus Christ, count your money. Um, but it really pissed me off. Like, it put me in a terrible mood. And, um, and then like the doctor came by and I was like, well, this guy's doing just fine. Like, I don't want to yell at this guy. Um, not that I was yelling. Like I was really just being nervous and explaining that I was nervous and the guy took it as an insult. Anyway, they, uh, they roll me into the operation room and then the fucking anesthetic guy, he, I start, I see him start to adjust, uh, adjust a drip, like my IV drip and stuff. And then he puts the thing over your face and he's like, this is just oxygen. Just breathe normal. And then I'm like fucking out. And like the, b- the whole time before I'm out, I'm like, I don't think this is just oxygen. I think he's applied an anesthetic without telling me, and I think I'm just going to lose consciousness randomly. That's exactly what happened. And it was it sucked. And then I came back up, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? That wasn't just oxygen. That fucking asshole. I don't know if he was, like, be- he was like punishing me, like he was being a dick because uh, like he thought I was mad. Anyway, I-, I come to, and it's fine, and I'm in pain, and it's fine. It's, like, not that bad. It's always surprising at how, like, not bad. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I was, I was pretty woozy and I threw up and then uh, I was like, I think I'm going to throw up again. And they rolled me in a wheelchair over to the thing. And I had to like, I had to like, like, you know, get myself over to the toilet, like to throw up properly. And they were like, Hey, you, you just projectile vomited from your wheelchair all the way into that toilet. That's impressive. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> and I explained to the, I explained to the nurse that I'm actually really good at throwing up because, uh, when I used to smoke pot all the time, it would sometimes make you throw up, and I smoked pot in my car, so I'd have to learn how to throw up while I was driving. Oh, boy. I became really good at throwing up is, is the long and short of it. I could throw up into my mouth and then fling it out of the car like a catapult um, to kind of get it to clear the side of my car so it's not splattering all over the side of my car. And, and I was and telling she, this all to the nurse. And she said, this is a... I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm just letting you know I'm not married. Right. <laughs> P- panties were dropping. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, we went home, and I, I, I wasn't feeling great, and I was just shaking. I, I, our whole family, because has issues with anesthetic, so uh, it wasn't great. They gave me Percocet because I had bad reaction to Vicodin, and uh, the Percocet, I wasn't feeling it at all other than it just made me feel like I was, like, uh, dizzy and losing my fucking mind. And so I, I kind of weaned myself off of that and just was taking Motrin and that like, I don't know. I, the pain was a lot better than I expected to. And I had to be on crutches for a while until Friday. And then they said I didn't have to be on crutches, but like it kept being like, I would wake up in the middle of the night or my cat started vomiting and I would just react to the situation and not use my crutches. And I would be like, Oh shit, I'm walking. This is nuts. Um, and then I would like realize I probably shouldn't be walking and stop, but like it didn't feel bad or anything. So now I'm walking around. It's great. Um, it's uh, the worst thing is just you have to ice yourself and then you have to like lay in bed all this time and I was like lose my fucking mind I've been going through some dark times having like absolutely nothing to do with like the pain I was in just like I'm like nobody likes me I want to shoot myself in the dick um another speaking of my dick um one of the things that the doctor told me way too late in the process is like your 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 uh, your penis might be numb for a few weeks what and I was like, wait, this is not part of the deal. I would, I, I'd be like, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like, yeah, 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 sure, buddy. You try and stop me. Yeah. Why, why, why was your penis a casualty of, of, of that surgery? I think just the anesthetic guy. Okay. No, um... He just. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess Tony put in a request for, uh, the, the limp. 
Um, Wait, was he right? Did you did you have a numb penis? Really? Yeah, it's it's been disturbing. Um, I, I I think I have a back, but it's not. I'm not. I'm not. It, that was very unnerving. Out of everything. Um, but the idea is they 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 get into your hip joint, right? So. They, they put a post between your legs and then they get you up on the thing and then they put like, an, uh, a, like a, a handcuffs around your ankle and then they just like pull your leg really, really hard for the entire duration of the surgery. So it's mashing into your groin and then it's like the handcuffs are on your ankle. So you have like, I had pretty sharp pains in both of those areas from the surgery because it's just like you're being stretched as if on a rack for like two hours while they're doing the surgery. And so that wasn't great, but uh, yeah. yeah. Percocet uh, was suck. They can't um, put like velvet on those cuffs. I mean, well, yeah, or like they can't like move my dick out of the way. Like, what the fuck? It seems like there's plenty of groin to go around. Like, I don't. There's ways they could design, put a hole in it or something. I don't know. There's ways around this stuff. I'm sure. I mean, I yeah. guess they're doctors. But uh, th- that's been my experience. I'm, I'm finally every day, like after the surgery, I felt like very noticeably better and more mobile and more capable of moving around. Like to the point, like I was a bit shaky. Um, even yesterday when I have weight on my left leg and now it's, uh, it's, I, I can walk pretty, it, it kind of hurts to walk without looking stupid, but if I want, I can kind of walk mostly normal, um, without, without looking like, you know, a person with a limp or anything. And I, yeah, so it just, it was just weird. I just felt like they were, uh, they were very businessy about it. And it's like, well, come on, man. I'm just, I'm freaking out over here. Yeah. We don't, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, heal people we just uh wait how's that wait how's that saying we cut the bad stuff out we're not healer we don't have healers wait what is it something i don't there's know there's no that's clerics the me- the me- the medical business isn't about it's a, it's like an engineering thing it's like yeah. science you know it's not a it's there there's no healing uh to it which you know if you if you it's thank god there's science involved for sure but uh <laughs> yeah but uh but it's also like like a sick person is obviously like they have two things wrong with them minimum, the thing that's wrong with them. And then the fact that things being wrong with you is like scary. And we, we treat it like, uh, taking your car in like, Oh, we have this replacement part. Do you have insurance and all this stuff? And it's like people are, and then people are getting traumatized by the experience of being treated like a car. Right. You're also very cagey about telling me the price of things. Like I had to agree and set the schedule of the surgery and then agree that if I changed the date of the surgery, I'd pay $400 before they would tell me the price. And that's got to be like one of the only places that happens where you don't know like what you're paying before you agree to have paid it already. It was just a very weird experience. It really set everything up to be pissed off in myself. Do you have insurance or? Yeah, but I don't know how any of that shit works. That's something they should teach in schools, like how insurance is supposed to fucking work. Because I just, I, you know, people are like, oh, you know, your premiums, your out of pocket, your total, your maximum deductible. It's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Insurance is another thing exactly like uh, uh, rating systems uh, that once it becomes institutionalized it loses all it's it just doesn't make any sense right, anymore just play around it. if a, if a, if a cop can pull you over and and like put you in jail for not having insurance then it's not insurance anymore now it's part of what allows you to drive a car it's like a driver's license 2 colon first blood part 3 <laughs> like 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 and i understand i'm not like i'm not so much of a hippie that i'm like we don't need insurance and we shouldn't be encouraged to have it. I got someone explained that to me that if I hit someone in a car that doesn't have insurance, they're fucking me over, I guess. But I don't, I don't know, man. It's like, like people talk about that. Like it's like the most common sense in the world. I'm like, you know, we're through the looking glass. It may be common sense through the looking glass, but isn't there a, a more common form of sense where you don't have to go through the looking glass where it's like you're just normal people like you know is, there's got to be a system we can figure out well right? yeah i mean that's the thing is that they take they take advantage of the fact there is insurance so the people are like oh you got to go into insurance and the insurance is like i don't know talk to the doctor and the doctor's like i don't know the medical company says the bag costs six hundred dollars and it's like all of you are lying if, if, if everybody is if what everyone is paying for is uh, like some weird bet that you might not get sick, um, then why does the end result of it always still that like rich people are 
more allowed to get sick than poor people. If that's the case, let's can't we just make a system where it's called Medicare for all, right? Like, like where you just go, oh, you can't. I thought have that would any, get a bigger pop. Like, like <laughs> it, it, it got a groundswell. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah se- it seems like the answer. The, the, it seems like any answer to that question, like why don't we do it this way? The answer is because that would be horrific immediately, which is a good. You know what I mean? Like. Even like I think uh, it is horrific. Even conservative, like hardcore capitalist, anti-socialist healthcare people, I believe would not. They would take one look at a system that was absolute draconian, like cat private healthcare system, where like you it you going it, your kid had a cold and you go into a hospital and it's like a McDonald's menu, like cold five hundred dollars, like. Like the the and and all the permutations of that system, like eh, the rich would also go. Oh no no no, we can't have that. Right. Well, I mean, I think that that is something people are doing. Is just can I pay out of insurance? What's your what's your day rate as a doctor? And then those those prices are actually. So it depends on the thing, obviously. And I don't think really bad things. Uh, it's good for. But I think that that's something that has worked for people. Which uh, obviously you shouldn't go. Uh, complete capitalist enterprise, but skipping the insurance entirely and just paying the doctor what the doctor needs to order the tools and stuff, I think actually does help because it's not, again, like three layers of middlemen all fucking you. It just kind of feels like the the whole healthcare thing was invented to make the one of the most important things in the world as boring sounding as possible. I think yeah. Where it's like like like, like it sounds like well we're, we're, why why do I feel like I'm 14 and it's it, we're talking about Nicaraguan freedom fighters like I like with Peter Jennings like I like why is my brain turning off when what we're really talking about is if you're poor do you have a right to live as long as a rich person because that's <laughs> that's an exciting conversation right. that's some Star Wars shit. Like they want to obfuscate it. It's yeah. It's like and, and and but it almost seems like everyone wants to you know like everyone wants to make it complicated and 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 it, it but like yeah. Anyways, okay. So that's that part of the show. Game of Thrones. <sighs> Game of Thrones. I, I binged it. I, I'm, I'm all caught up. I'm all caught up. He's all caught up. <laughs> uh, that was really funny when they when he goes. Uh, Hey, Brand the Broken has got a best story, and then they bothered to cut to Arya Stark, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Like it's crazy to include that shot when you're the one that wrote that line of dialogue and shot it. Like it's like like, and then you're in the editor like, cut to Arya. That's great. I love that look. <laughs> she's she's <laughs> she's playing the curb your enthusiasm theme in her head. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that look. I love that look. She she's saying I have the best story I, ever. I I, I, I saved the universe. <laughs> I literally started as a little girl that wasn't allowed to play with arrows. Saw my dad's head get cut off and ended up killing the devil for the crippled brother <laughs> that you just said has the best story. <laughs> he looks like John Oliver lost his glasses uh, <laughs> and had worse breeding and, and uh, was worse. That's hard. Breeding. That's tough. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was wow. Why? Who picked that fucking team? Right. That, that was really punching out. It's that, not that, that kid's panel. fault that he got cast. That's like when you cast kids and then you watch them go through puberty on camera. Like, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm like, why, why was it that group of people that got to decide who the next king is? And because they're lords. Here are some people Aren't... that have a better story than Bran. No offense to Bran. Right. Uh, Hodor. That's Hodor absolutely. has a more interesting story. He's just not there. Uh, uh, either of the dragons. But let's go. Let's go. Let's go alphabetical order. Arya. <laughs> I, I would say most of the White Walkers. <laughs> they, 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 just they, even they, the skeleton they, CG yeah, skeletons. They've gone through a lot of shit. What about that skeleton horse? You know that motherfucker. Skeleton? He's like, he's make, like, make, what, make it's skele- a living. Make skeleton. <laughs> it's a living. How about how about uh uh, uh Jon Snow's hairline? That that that. There's some interesting stories there. What the fuck? That dude needs bangs. <laughs> that Wait, dude I, needs that, bangs. That, you, that, that's, that's a weird take. What, 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 I thought his hair was... I don't right. know why everybody... What, I am so distracted by that random hairline. What do you mean? He's got like a little... He's got like a little half-committed Count Chocula fucking <laughs> widow's peak that comes... <laughs> It's just like a little seismic burp, like in the middle of his hairline. It's like off center, like it's not. It it it, it doesn't even. Right. It's like, uh, are you try, are you are you Eddie Munster or uh, because that he has symmetry. 
right and purpose like like I, I, i'm not and again it's like it's genetics i mean we're talking about just the natural thing going on up there i'm saying don't tie your hair back you got a you got a you got a weird thing in your hairline give that guy some bangs he'd look cute with bangs but like i think they show him at the end and he's like all right time to go uh work at the what was up with him walking off into the woods with a bunch of children and that, uh, that, 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 is that a spin-off it, it, That's a spin-off. It's like his sure. job now. It's like uh, he's going to go hang out with 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 because like, you should go work on the you should go work on the Night's Watch now. And he's like, "There's a Night's Watch," and then uh, and, and then, then there wasn't a Night's Watch, and, and there 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 wasn't one. There's yeah, no, it's there's, like there's no wall. So what the fuck is going on? But his red-haired friend who. Yeah, who said, no, nah, I'm going to go. I'm, it's a pirate's life for me. And then he's like working at the DMV and fucking like, <laughs> hey, want to talk about pussy? Oh, great. <laughs> that guy, his whole oh, arc man, is, his whole arc is I can't get laid. He's like, he just kept talking about how he, he used to get a lot of pussy and now he can't fucking yeah, fuck anything. I, I, yeah, he talked too much about it. That, yeah. I'm glad that lesson got learned. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad he wasn't like the guy that got laid. The only the thing most. that was good about it, uh, the Game of Thrones, was that Barry's on after it because that show was fucking good. Uh, yeah. I still haven't watched Barry. Huh? I haven't watched Barry. Oh, get up on that one, man! It's fucking great. I still it, got Atlanta. I got to get through all through Atlanta. I oh, mean, man. You, 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 alphabetical order. I got nine seasons of Atlanta now. And then you got uh, got to go to Barry and then uh, ca- cab, ca- cash cab. Cash. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> What did you say? Cash cab. Cash cab. <laughs> fucking Barry. It's and then, really and then, good. Yeah. There's an episode where it's just a fight. Where is he fights? Have you, have you guys seen it? Where he, yeah, yeah. Lillian? What's it? Uh, God damn it! That is a fucking goodie. I, I I don't know how they write a show like that. It's really really funny. All right. Well, don't make me mad at it before I watch it. You can also be a good writer, too. I know, but you're starting to make me, you know, uh-huh. just don't push the I'm, buttons. I, I'm saying this show breaks boundaries and uh, pushes borders, and you're a bad writer. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't now... like how he kills people. I was watching an episode, and he, like, killed someone. I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's fucking weird. But I don't it's... like that he's learning to act. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's like, why am I supposed to root for his acting career? He kills people. That's not cool. But but then he goes into acting class, and, and he's good because he just killed somebody. But that's, oh. but he shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, all let's play, right. Let's play D&D. Yeah. Where would we even start, Spencer, if, if, saying that we did that? Like, how, how would that go now? I mean, we could we could talk about it. I've always been of the opinion that a big part of the problem is you guys don't remember stuff, and part of the reason you don't remember stuff is because we only play for like five minutes, and we only play like once every three or four months, and I think it's hard to remember five minutes three yeah. months ago. But 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 mm. I I, mi- I, I miss it. It's just a structural problem. I I miss I miss playing it, so I want yeah. to play again. Yeah, no, right. I miss it too. But I, I just think that I, I you know to the extent that we want to actually get to a place where you guys feel confident and comfortable playing, and I think that that's truly a big hurdle to, to leap or such. Yeah, that would, that would be a good start. I, I'm willing to... I'm willing to uh, it, let's do it for sure. Uh, I, I have a prediction that uh, uh, we can play for 20 minutes uh, every episode, and still we're going to be like, wait, what happened? Where'd that guy go? <laughs> I think and, that's uh, fair. And then every, every four weeks... Do, a do you third of your, us isn't going to be here. Do you have your right. gear with you? Do, no. Do you? We oh, don't so need it. We don't do you guys it. look at it? I guess you do. I, I mean, yeah, you, you want your, your your character sheet for, you know, details. Yeah, hypothetically, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you, you'd have to do a good walkthrough and, like, and bring us back to where we were. Right. Let's. You want to try? I mean, sure. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. All right, bring them up, sir. Who's got dice? Do you have our character sheets as well? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Tommy P. Tommy P. Thank you. Hey, Levy, get, uh, get down here. Oh, yeah, we need Levy. It's your Memorial Day show. <laughs> Steve Levy. Thank there he you. is. Levy. <laughs> All right. Now, h- how should we start, Spencer? Do you want, you want music? And you give us a... Uh, a little breakdown? Yeah. Last time on Harmon Quest, 
Our heroes. Harmon Quest. Harmon Quest comes to TV, not on the on the computer. I saw someone like Harmon Quest season two, I think, aired on Comedy Central somewhere, like what? in Europe or something. I don't know, but I saw a screenshot, blew my mind. We're not getting money from that. I know shit. Uh, wh wh where's my money? The guys, the people, they had they had left. They had left the town. What was that town? Fightsville or some shit. <laughs> they left Fightsville because they felt like they did a bad job and then they met a cult that did exercises and they did exercises and then they left the cult and found another cult that was summoning a demon. And then they helped them summon the demon. And then the demon came out and started killing people and they were like, well, this sucks, let's leave. And then the church militant came and slaughtered the demon. And then um, then they were like, well, yeah, we're a lot worse than this than everyone else is. So let's stop doing this. Let's be a farmer. And then they went to go be a farmer, but they didn't actually go anywhere. I think they were deciding to do that. And so we rejoin our heroes now or in the future, depending on which they choose, at a point at which they had been farming or made a decision to start farming and we're gonna go about doing that. Now. So you, you, you got your dice. You, you, I got my dice. All right. So, all right. Well, I Any questions? I, I There's plenty of questions. I, I, I examine my surroundings. All right. You're in a you're in an empty oh. field. You see a bunch of slaughtered cultists. Oh wait. Well, do you want to be farming or do you want to be deciding to be farming and go to search out a farm to I, farming? I, I say we're kind of half like half heartedly farming right now. All right. You found the town of Podos Donos. The farming village. There's about, it's not much of a farming village. There's like six farms, and there's only, there's only a handful of people. You haven't really met them. You just kind of, you rolled up on a farm. You killed a fucking ghost that was haunting the farm. Right. And oh. then you're like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this farm now. You started farming. It feels like the earth had been salted or something. So you're making a really hard time, hard time uh, getting crops out. But this is your first harvest in the first, in the first half of your farm, and your other half of the farm is just ready to be planting. Hmm. And, and I, I'm Chad the Firelacker. We have Diarrhea Jr. and Harmon is... Carlos. Carlos the... the unimaginative? The unimaginative. Okay. Carlos Johnson. Carlos Johnson. <laughs> and g give me, because it's been so long, give me class and... Uh, and, and uh, He's a cleric. Diarrhea Jr. is a fighter. And right. you're a druid. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a gnome druid. Potato basket! <laughs> Coming up! <laughs> Uh, uh, guys, uh, not very does, full. Does it does it does does this seem kind of diminishing? Like we used to be fighters, and like we we were on an, uh, on a on a quest. Now we're just we're just growing potatoes. Well, for me, the big relief is, uh, you know, just knowing what I'm trying to do. Uh, you know, even if I'm yeah okay, I'm not the best potato farmer. I didn't think I was gonna be, but yeah. You know, I felt like a bigger failure uh, handling people's lives than these potatoes here. We, we were bad at the other thing too. Like, come on, let's talk while we prepare dinner. Come on, guess what? Guess what's for dinner? Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash. You peel. Okay. Th this way, we're not we're really we're not hurting anybody but ourselves with these potatoes. Amen. I, I take out my uh, my dagger and I start peeling potatoes. I'm piling you them on a that. plate, ready for peeling. <laughs> Scrubbing them with a rag and a bucket of warm water that I had heated up from the river. Are, 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 we, are, are we doing uh, uh, potato latkes with a side of mashed potatoes tonight? Here, why don't we do this? You dunk each potato in the water. Okay. And then and kind of give it a pre-scrub, hand it off to me, and then I'll, we got like assembly line. I'll hand it to him for peeling. Okay. okay. All right. A... Thank you. Good job. Nothing like a clean potato. Yeah, nothing like a, nothing like a perfectly peeled potato. Yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> I appreciate you guys doing this with me. Well, well, yeah, I mean, but. Uh, Carl, you, you Carlos, you, you had like ambitions, like to like to be a cl like a cleric that wanted to like purify the world. Yeah, that's why. And, 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 and remove evil. 
and, and get rid of all demonic uh, stuff. And now, what are we doing? We're fucking. I, I, the more you want something, the more it hurts to be bad at it. Right. <laughs> it's terrible. Should, I mean, is there a way to retry, like to kind of put our? I feel like that's what babies do. Like, like that when they're bad at something, we go, "You can try again." And they're like, "I'm kind of old, okay. and I was a priest." And it's like, "Ah, oh, you keep killing people and not knowing what you're doing." And like, like at some point, if you're saying to that guy, uh, "Oh, come on, try again," it's like it's enabling. Okay, so you're saying just potato farming is good enough for you now. Like, like you're you're you're, <clears throat> which is fine. If, if, if that's what you're okay with. Well, I'd like to see the day when I th really <laughs> hungered for adventure, I guess. I mean, I haven't seen that day. Like, I'm still recoiling from being so bad at it. I mean, do you think that, that demons don't exist anymore? That, 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 you, that the world doesn't have... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, after all the stories we've been through. I know, Exactly. Yeah, I, I know demons exist. Okay, so you and you and you're 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 over it. You're 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 good to go now. That you like you're happy. You're happy. Hey, tell, if, tell me you're happy. Look me in the eye and say that you're happy right now. I can't tell you that. That doesn't. That's not. I wasn't happy before either. I was anxious. I'm tr I'm trying to I'm trying to find the thing that makes me happy. But more importantly, also that it hurts the least people. Like I want to help the world. I felt like I was kind of getting in the way. Diarrhea, were you going to say something? Something on your mind, young man? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, look, it's, it's not as fulfilling, but this, this, this potato farming really is scratching an itch for me. <laughs> I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to invent the oven. <laughs> Damn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these in the equivalent of an oven. It's a kiln. It's a potato kiln. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I cast a fireball to heat up the oven faster. You do that. <laughs> I mean, I still, have, I still have powers. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, but what, wait, wait, what, what? I what? heal the potatoes. What? Oh, they're raw oh. again. Now you, now you got to cook them. <laughs> they're unpeeled. <laughs> yeah, the farm didn't have ready access to water, and Dan's ability to create water was instrumental in growing the potatoes. That's just a bit of backstory. That's <clears throat> Spence, I, I think we're wasting our talents right now. I think I, that... Are there rival farming families? There's one rival farmer. What was her name? Ketamine. Ket oh. <laughs> All right. She's a hard worker, and she's really uh, competitive about farming, which, like, you don't have to be, and, like, the market's not saturated enough for that to be a thing, but she's, like, she's always been doing that, and she's better than you because she's, like, she comes from a line of farmers, and she has a much better farm on a much better What's her land. crop of choice? Tobacco. <laughs> I oh. think she's delightful. I met her on Tuesday. She's <laughs> fantastic. She's a fire plug. You guys sit down. You're gonna, these are going to go cold. <laughs> Uh. Mm. <laughs> I gotta say, you knocked them out of the park again. Uh, they're uh, they're growing all right. I yeah, mean, no, it's the uh, they're good. But you're not, you, you're not you're not jealous of that tobacco money that that ketamine's rich. <laughs> of course, if she's gonna be better at farming than us. She's been at it forever. We should make right. friends with her and learn to farm better. Okay. She might you, be single. You hear a knock. <laughs> at, you hear a knock at your door. <laughs> We hear a knock at the door. Yeah, uh, I uh, get up and go in and answer the door. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a man. It's a raccoon man. He's <laughs> like, a, he's a beast man. He's a raccoon. That's like, yeah. There's all sorts of fantastical races. You've seen him around town. You notice, his, you notice his name, or you know his name's Tom, and he's a shopkeeper in the area. He sells all sorts of supplies. It's mm. like, hey, so I'm glad, you're, glad you're settling in. Looks like first harvest is coming. Uh, you do owe a lot of money for this property. Whoa. So, I mean, that's no big deal. You know, we, we, we just want people to live here, but over time, you might want to be paying, paying that off, come up with a payment plan. Well, we, we well, have a lot of gold from our last uh, quests, don't we? Hey, sure. Is that, is that Tom out there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I'll bring it's, him in. Have some potatoes. Come on. Tom, come in. Have, have, have a potato. You hungry? Yeah, yeah, sure. Come How's on. it going? Don't go digging in the garbage cans. <laughs> <laughs> He's Sorry, that's racist. Yeah. That's racist. <laughs> 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 
It's like uh, this is this is some crops you got going. These are this year this year yield, huh? Oh, thank, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously we're not that good yet, but no, that's fine. No one's it is when they just start. You know, I, I I started selling stuff when I was a kid. I didn't know what to charge. Do do we buy this land from you? No, no. But I I do own most of the land. I don't mind it, and I'm not going to be a bad guy about it. But I mean, you know, it's just it, land is like a big thing. You're you don't seem to be lords, so like. You well, know, we didn't charge you for killing the ghost. Yeah. Well, I could give you a big discount. That's a that's a great point. I'll knock off. He does. He he pulls out an abacus and he starts doing a thing. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll take ten percent off of that. That's fine. Yeah. Give me get our abacus. <laughs> that's a coincidence because uh, we are also having a deal on ghost killing, and uh, <laughs> I just make the beads the same. Uh, looks like. Even Steven. I don't want to be a grumpy guest, but there was a buyer on this house even with the ghost, so I don't feel like it's that much of a value, but Someone I mean... Someone wanted your haunted-ass house. Yeah, man, the farm, farm for property's going from... This is a nice well, you, neighborhood. You think their potatoes taste this good? I, they don't... I can't tell. I got to make a calculated <laughs> assessment. That's part of being an entrepreneur. Let's give this guy a potato. All right, look, like we need to s- sell some potatoes, obviously. Yeah, over time. Yeah, no, yeah. no, you guys are farmers. This is like in your wheelhouse, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we're learning. We're getting there. Right. I, I'm sorry. You're comparing us to this person that I don't believe exists that wanted to buy a haunted house. Oh, yeah, they did. Her name is Kagura. She loves busting ghosts. Actually, you know, I think she's busting a ghost right now. You hear outside in your farm area, you hear a fire. What? There's a. F- I hear did- a fire. You hear a fire. I'm getting up, putting my napkin down, and leaving my silverware, and going outside. I, 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 I follow Carlos. I, I, I love fire, so I'm excited because <laughs> I'm Chad the fire liker. Yeah. All right. So you go out back to where your farm is, and uh, uh, not not much of your farm, but say about five feet of your farmland uh, has been replaced by a giant tree. And that tree is on fire. And outside of that flaming tree, no, inside of that flaming tree, you see a ghost. It seems to be trapped. It seems like a wraith. You guys know about ghosts a little bit. It's a wraith. Yeah. Um, and arguing about that wraith is a, is, a, is, a, is a woman who looks like a druid. And uh, she has like a mask on the side of her head, like a, like a tribal mask. And she's yelling at a small mole, a mole man. And they're arguing. They're like, rah, rah, rah. the mole man's like, I can't. I don't care what you want to do with these ghosts. This is not a place for you to be using your magic. This is someone's property. And she's like, I can't. I can't be told when or where to bust ghosts. This is just my the, my calling. You need the butt ghosts gone anyway. So they're arguing about that. And she, and she, she's a druid. Yeah, she's she looks like a druid. So I, I'm a druid too. Oh yeah. So and I, druids I, know a secret language. I I I I, uh, I go hey uh, what, what's 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 the beef? They're like hey new guys. I was tracking this wraith. Tried to catch it in the spirit tree. You know I conjured up a tree. Um, I'll help you. I, I got this tied up. You want to take care of this mole? Get him off my back. That'd be cool. Uh, uh I sense motive on the uh, on the mole. All right. The mole, he's just, he's like a, a classic, uh, what do you call it? Like, he, he loves laws and rule of order, and he's just, he has a lot of fastidious laws. You saw him when he first moved to the town. He wouldn't shut up about laws and stuff. He's telling you you're always fucking up, but he doesn't really do much about it other than show up and yell. And so uh, he's, he's been doing that, and he's like, this is an unauthorized druidic magic zone. You can't be putting trees up in places, and that's kind of his angle is she's infracting the law, and she's like, you know, I've got to kill this thing. It's my was this thing here before she put the tree here, or is the tree containing the thing? Uh, I'm a little confused. She was chasing the wraith, so she was chasing it across your farm, and she finally caught up to it and, oh. and cast this tree to catch All it. All right, well, I think I can settle this. This is our property, and uh, it sounds like if we give permission for there to be a wraith tree on it, uh, uh, then, then uh, there's no law being broken. Well, that's all well and good, but I believe this is Tom's property, so maybe we should get him. Is he around? Tom's oh. actually, he kind of wandered out to see that, and he's like, hmm. Oh, raccoon Tom? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, he he was just eating our potatoes, and, I mean, we're kind of subletting. Tom's like, well, ghosts don't help anyone, really, so I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. Thanks for the wraith tree. Oh, yeah. It grows wraith berries, so he's. This is safe now. Here, this is. 
Well, it's on fire, so you got to contain that. But the fire will burn out along with the wraith. It should be good pretty soon. Oh, okay. Unless it escapes. D- didn't you, uh, Carlos, d- didn't you uh, create water? Uh, y- yes. <laughs> what was that, Spencer? Like, That's a spell. It's a cleric spell. Create oh, water. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, sure, let's see if that works. And th- if I put out the wraith tree fire, that's not what's keeping the wraith in it. Well, that's actually, yeah, it is. So okay. let's wait for the wraith to die, yeah, and yeah, then, we're, then we get that. We're going to wait for that. the wraith to die. Uh, okay. Wait for the, uh, well, uh, what, what, what do you guys want to talk about? This is a... The mole's pissed and leaves. It kind of burrows in the ground and Bye, burrows mole. away. Thanks. Uh, we understand the, you, um, what you were trying to do. <laughs> Tom's like, do you know about the church of Corlax? I don't believe we do. Oh, man. Corlax is great. He uh, Corlax? Oh, yeah. He exchanges goods and services for money. Oh. Check this out. He, he has uh, a church? Yeah. I'm a worshiper. Right. He, he kind of pr- he starts praying and throws some coins on the ground, and the coins poof away, and then in its place is like a small wooden toy. He's like, that's some god, huh? Wow. That's <laughs> depending on... How much you like wooden toys? Yeah, that's a great god. I love toys. Well, you could have that. Just take that on me, and I won't add it to your total. Thank you. Yeah. What kind of toy did, it, you, did you get there? It's a wooden toy. What kind of toy is it, Steve? It's a... It's a... It's a... Um, <laughs> it's the... It's a... It's a... Um, you know... Uh, what kind of toy is it, Jeff? It's uh, it's a it's a, it, it's a boat. There you go. It's a wooden boat. That's super useful. It is. Kind of a fine line between a toy wooden boat and a cup, right? <laughs> it yeah. looks like it can hold a volume of liquid. Mm. Could come in handy later. We could use it as a cup. Could you, use it as a cup. You could whittle it into is, a cup. Is, is Tom still there? Tom's Tom's hanging out. Yeah, it hasn't been too long. Tom, tell me tell me about the Church of uh, Corlax because we, we we dabble in the religious arts ourselves. Uh, what 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 goes down with the Church of Corlax? The symbol is a brass trihelical knot. Um, congregates engage in rituals that exchange monetary and uh, uh, good, like uh, what do you call it? Trade goods for services and, right. and other goods. So it's not all wooden toys. You, you guys do other things. No, you could get seeds. You could get... Uh, That's you boring. Know, like, you could get demons who do stuff for you. Potato what? seeds? Yeah, like all, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> the God just likes commerce. Aren't, aren't potato <laughs> seeds just po- other potatoes? That's true. <laughs> Yeah. Potato seeds. There's also we're potato the seeds. We're the fucking worst potato farmers Well, in the we're world. not good yet. What? Yeah, but so we don't even know how potatoes work. We're not fucking good yet. Right. Like, were you a good adventurer before you were an adventurer? You know what? I thought I, I had potential. Well, we have potato potential. <laughs> yeah. I, I, a little I, play I, on I, words I just came I, up I, with. Uh, I slap Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm uh, homesteading now, so my dad instincts are kicking in. All right. I'm, oh, I'm, do, do you do you have other? Uh, g- give me a, a good potato joke, like a dad potato joke. Uh, wh- wh- how, how, how does that? Uh, wh- why why are potatoes so good at democracy? Why? Because the eyes always have it. Oh shit! It's pretty good. Damn. They have eyes for those uh, for, yeah, for, that, for our urban listeners. That was better than uh, I expected. Potatoes before they come to your. Your uh, hormone uh, uh, GMO uh, uh, kiosk, you know, where I come from in Wisconsin, potatoes have little warts all over them that you have to uh, pluck off called eyes. I, th- I believe those are just roots, root tendrils. <laughs> That's the potato saying, please let me be a potato. Let me live. Don't eat me. And then you see, so peel off the eyes of a potato. And then you eat before them. you before you eat them, right? Do you ever feel guilt about that? Now that I describe it, I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what are we doing if we're not just murdering potatoes all the time? I think. Well, I, look. <sighs> Will they or won't they? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, Tom, uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for the oh, toy. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> thanks for the uh, information about your religion. Yeah, man. Come by anytime. I'll pray something up. Great. And uh, how do we do it? Uh, how do we pray things up? You can't do it super easily. It takes like a couple circles of initiation to learn the rights and stuff. But we could talk about that. I mean, I charge, of course, for those training courses. But oh, here we go. Okay, oh, thank you very much, we Tom. Go. This is How my much? religion. This How is much? my religion. Yeah. We're gonna. We'll, we'll come it cost? by. We're gonna come by next Sunday. Don't join the <laughs> cults. <laughs> but we just moved here. Okay. Just will you? But you think they'll have horses? Oh, oh we got horses. <laughs> Can you conjure horses? Oh, yeah. I got horses What's in the What's the name back. of this god? Corlax. What? Corlax. Corlax. But it's random. You can't just get horses. Diarrhea. No, you got to pray for them and pay the requisite price. <clears throat> okay. 25 GP. Uh, tw- 20 <laughs> DP? GP, gold G- pieces. G- oh. <laughs> 25 DP. That's a very... That's a, a lot of DP. It's a very different <laughs> currency. <laughs> Chad, get your head out of the gutter. Uh, we'll think about it, Tom, the landlord. Goodbye. Thank you. See you, man. Uh, Thanks. We're very See friendly you. tenants. Thank you. Thanks Good luck for with your... living here. This is cool. Look, I'm not for religion, but I love horses and toys, so. Well, I look, you can do whatever you want, but I don't, I just, look, I'm trying to get rid of him, and uh, I, 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 look, you guys... Maybe we should all split up into different potato farms. <laughs> what? what? I just, there's so much, you know, you're always asking, should we be potato farming? That can't be the right way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me if I'm satisfied being a, a failed potato farmer? The answer is no. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather be, I'd rather be, uh, I'd, I'd rather be trying to kill demons. Yeah. So, you know, maybe this is, not Tom! Is, is, is Tom still there? He's with an earshot of yelling. Tom! Yeah, hey. Hey, uh, you got any demon trouble? Uh, not now. I mean... Okay, <laughs> fuck, go, go away. This guy, okay. I, you, you were right, Carlos. You, I, I was wrong, you were right. Maybe that guy, tomorrow. That guy didn't have... Oh, there's a nor'easter coming in. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to catch our death of cold. Let's get inside. <laughs> tell some stories. <laughs> okay. Come on. I, I, I go in and I use, uh, I, I cast uh, t- t- torch fingers and uh, I, I light a fire. Oh. All right. Oh, those potatoes got me feeling <laughs> like a, I think I'm going to turn into a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of starch. It's, it's you it's know, a for a guy carbs. who's named huh? diarrhea, it's really. I'm so constipated. Oh no! Really? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's potatoes all the time. Yeah, we, a lot we, of starch. We, we need roughage. We gotta get some. Uh... So we should probably talk about, in light of our conversation with Tom, we gotta figure out how to monetize. I mean, we're only growing enough potatoes to eat right now. Right. We're living on property that he claims is not ours, <laughs> and that we feel like we're just kind of squatting because we killed a ghost here. It's. <laughs> I mean, do you think if we join their cult, they won't charge us? Well, it seems like he might be more sympathetic, but then again, there's always the danger that you know we get sucked back into a world we don't want to be a part of, or <laughs> or even yeah, you, know, you say back like a world of adventure, but what if we just end up being shitty potato farmers that are in a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Well, didn't that happen last time? Well, I mean, in a manner of speaking, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm fucking miserable, you guys. I hate, I hate this life. I want to, like, I'll do anything other than just fucking grow a potato. <laughs> you ever fucking see a potato? Yeah. What are you I, talking about? They're, they're the worst. <laughs> they're just. Well, fucking... how do you feel about olives? Huh? Olives. I give olives four potatoes. Damn. <laughs> What are, we, what are we doing? You're right. Let's fucking split up. Let's fucking, like, like I, uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be so dramatic, like, like, oh, we hate each other, we love each other, but, like, we were a band of adventurers, and then I was like, we're doing this badly. What if we were potato farmers? You guys came with me, but, like, you know, and now you're like, I'm miserable, I'm miserable, and I'm like, you know, I'm not happy, but... I, you're not happy either. I'm committed to giving this potato farming life a chance. You were our leader. You were, you were the guy that was the most driven among us. Yeah. And I now know. look at you. Yeah. 
Fucking potato man. <laughs> take that back. Huh? <laughs> take no, it back. No, I, w- I won't take it back. You're a potato man. You're nothing but a fucking potato man. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you right now, and all I see is a potato. That's savage. <laughs> You you are a, you are a mean what? Uh, oh, that hurts. Does it, that, that, that that doesn't feel good. I oh, I don't like the way you say it. What say what? I'm not a potato man. You're, I'm a well, human being. Tell me, tell me, tell me why you're not a like. Prove to me why you're not a potato man. I, I, because I, I'm I, I I don't see any evidence to the contrary. I'm a farmer. There's a difference. I I I live off of the earth. When you call me a potato man, you make me sound like I'm not a human. Like I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm 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 doing my best. I'm accountable to society. I'm not a potato man. You're a big baby. You're a big pyromaniac baby. Whoa. You're ungrateful too. You know, like, like I, I, I do most of the hoeing. <laughs> <laughs> I peel all the potatoes. You want to peel a potato? No, I mean, I would if I had to. I could do all of this by myself. Okay. And so if you're not happy, you know, it well, hurts. None of us are happy. We're, we're all like, we're all, all right, but it makes it worse for you to be like, mm, I'm not happy. Well, we're already not happy. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like if we're in a rowboat and uh, you're like, this isn't a ship. And then they're like jumping up and down on the rowboat, like okay, trying well, to make I, it a ship. It's let, not going to. Okay. Let's not fight. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being, I'm being aggressive, but like, I, I, I just, I feel incomplete right now. <laughs> Man kingdom going down the valley, treasure for a blood throne, blood throne for a clan. Dragons reach, and I'm the horses on the sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Caves and tombs and ale come your way. Let's start maybe sing a little, an old adventuring song from when we were, used to be on the I mean, road. Can I sing I'll the sing, next I'll, verse? I'll, I'll sing it with you. Yeah. I'll sing it with you. Yeah, go ahead. Go, wait, wait, wait. You want, what do you want I'll, from I'll me? Si- I'll sing along with you. Oh, okay. okay. Old, old Amy. Schumers. I don't know. All this thing is really is making me really hopeful for, for the future. Yeah. I was like, I haven't heard you sing I, like I, that in a long time. I, 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 I it forgot, was so beautiful. I forgot how much that song meant to me. Yeah. You see this? Te- you see the tear? Yeah. I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, I didn't want to wipe it away I, because I thought it was those lyrics to are it. as true today as we, the day. <laughs> why did? Written. Why do we become farmers? We should have become musicians. <laughs> Could have been a rambling band. I'm not going to be a negative guy. I mean, that might be the way. Maybe we feed ourselves from the land and then we go do music during the day. Yeah. I'm willing to give that a try. That sounds like a. Do you guys forward. really think I'm a good singer? Yeah. Are you? You, that really touched me. I, I'll say I'll say this: you're a better singer than you are a potato farmer, and that that means a lot because you're a very good potato farmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Well, first thing in the morning, we'll go down to town and we'll we'll see if there's, like, I don't know, m- music jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good about this. I feel fucking. Gr- I I haven't felt this excited in a while. Oh, see, that's great. We're. See, it wasn't about choosing between potato farming and adventuring. It was about finding the adventure in the potato farming life. Yeah. Guy comes over, I need rent. How are we going to make that rent? I don't know. Get frustrated, had a little fight, made up, started singing. There we go. Yeah. That's a story. We're we're, we're a team again. Yeah. We're a team. I'm so inspired. Oh, 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 Amy Amy Schumer. Cliffhanger! Thanks, we did it. Thank you all. I think we can all, all agree something important happened tonight. Let's give it up for Steve Levy, everybody. Have a
happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Don't forget to remember Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Your comic troll, your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you all. Drive fast and take chances. Get any of that? It's a good show!